everybody. Back at it. Now, let's take a peek. I don't know if I looked at it really close yesterday or not, but it's coming together. Loving it. So, guess what? This is for the Defender, not for the JK. So, everything from here on in, because the bumper, there's that bumper. And here's the bumper for the JK. So, from here on in, I'm on my own, I think. There it is. Now, a couple of small, small screws. Bolts, if you will. That was a pretty good guess. One. And two. Rear bump. We'll see how it goes when it goes. They line up. One, and two. Bumpers are on. Moving on to the wheels, tires. I gotta figure out how to put these together now. What? What? Okay. It literally doesn't show how to put them together. I think they go over top like that. Get on there. Come on down. It's easier, it's easier than this bead box, that's for sure. And on goes the tires. Aren't they cute? One up, up, ah. Yep, I got him. On with number two tire. So back to the trip. When we went to Texas that time when we were kids. We get laid over in Toronto. So uh, her parents weren't going to let her go because she was only 17. Hadn't been out of the the country, really the province. Uh, so when we fly into uh, to Toronto, they give us a hotel to put us up for the night. And the old man asked if we had separate rooms. Sorry, Dad, we did not have separate rooms. Um, I did goodbye, daughter. I was a gentleman. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, no, I wasn't leaving her in a separate hotel room in Toronto overnight. You can forget that one. <laughs> so, um, if I caused any harm, well, I'm not sorry. There was nothing I could do about it. And number two, tire tightening up. I might have... Things just jump out of my hands. I don't know if it's age or what, but more than likely age. Snug, there's a bug, and a rug. Oh, buddy, that looks good. Oh, 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 oh that looks great. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. All right, <clears throat> flip it around. The other tires, here we go. Number three, tightening up. Number three, number four. Wow. One, get it started. Excellent, excellent, excellent. A Doberman, a Labrador, 
and a boxer all die and they go to heaven and they're standing in front of God. God asks the, Do the Doberman, what do you believe? The Doberman says, I believe that I have to protect my household at all cost and I'm very loyal. Hmm. You can take a seat to me to the right. Lab, what do you believe? He asked the lab. The lab says, I believe that if I keep my family smiling and happy all the time, and I'm very good around children, that, you know, that's, that's what I believe. Very good, God says. You can take a seat to me to the left. And then God turns to the boxer and he says, what do you believe? Boxer looks at him and says, I believe you're in my fucking seat. But for the most part, the chassis and drivetrain are officially together. Whoa, look at this everybody. It's on all fours, bumpers on. Ah, oh, getting close, getting close. Boy, that's cool. Boy, that's cool. Yep. Okay, guys, the next step is to put these little magnets into the hood, but it says I'm going to need a little bit of glue. Instead of glue, I am going to use JB Weld because I don't have glue. Now, put a little dab here. A little dab here. magnets in. Alright, well that's dry and let's move on and see what they say. Okay, they say... Oh, new piece. That looks like it. Hinges and everything. That's crazy. Oh, that's tight, yo. Pins are in. And now to attach it to the hood. Enough. This is our little Phillips screw. Ew. Hinges. Cool. I'm having to figure out the body on my own. The instruction I have don't show that. They show the other one. Uh, all right. So I've got it coming together. And we'll uh, hopefully figure it out. There's the back, side, front. It's coming together. Okay, after looking ahead and thinking ahead and doing ahead, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to put the rear, th rear, rear light in, the rear window uh, on both sides. I'm going to put these clips in on the front. Okay, I've put a little bit of JB Weld in these, put a magnet in, I put a little bit of JB Weld on the back lenses too because literally they just slip in there. Alright guys, let's take a look at the wiring. And we got these little small clips here that go on the side of the frame and it holds the wire. So we'll get that underway. Use one of these metal clips and start running the wire. Now that wire should have run underneath of this, but I'm not going to change it because, ah oh well, looks kind of cool anyway. So let's grab another one of these. Grab the absolute smallest screw that I've used yet. Oh, I know why. Two for one. There's four wires in this one. That's why it's that much wider. Those two are for the other side because there's only one. The trick is pick everything up at once. Oh yeah. You can get this in here. Perfect. Ah, oh, that's a nice neat job. I like that. Over to the other side. 
my brother and I, when I was, oh, I don't know, I can't remember how old I was, 16 maybe, we had a little Honda Civic hatchback, a little 1990 or something like that. I can, no, yeah, no, it was an old one. Not an old one, but an old one. One of the older new styles, but middle styles. Holy fuck. We just decided to start driving. We, we decided to drive to Atlanta, Georgia. We hang out. It's a freaking awesome city. I've been back twice since. Spent the, spent the night there, hung out a little bit, and then decided to head down to Savannah. On our way down, we stopped at the uh, Perlator 300. It was a NASCAR race. We bought some tickets off of a scalper and uh, in did we go. And literally watched Dale Earnhardt go around. Yeah, it was unreal. The number three car, we got pictures. We literally stood on the side of the, of the, of, okay, well, there you go. Forgot my brother was gonna drop in. So where was I? Atlanta, Georgia. From there, we went to Savannah. Drove into Savannah, wasn't much hanging out. There wasn't much going on there, so we drove up the coast. And when we got into Myrtle Beach, holy shit, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. So we spent a couple of days there, and we drove back home. Yep, yeah, it was quite a tour. Anyway, I digress. I guess I should have had that clip ready first. Here, clippy, clippy. Oh, it's already done. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you might be, uh... Look at that. Nice wiring. Now, I gotta build the back here to hold the battery. I believe the battery. I've got all of the clips in with the wires. Looking really nice. Now I gotta build the little bracket thing that holds the battery right here. It's a couple of clips, a few more dips and do's, and away we go. That looks good. Maybe I'll push it over this way just a touch. There. Let's attach these onto here. So this will go like that and will hold the battery in. So I gotta take this plate off and put those in because you can't get at the screws from underneath. So those off. So I found a little copper sleeve or brass sleeve and also there's some o-rings that go with this one piece. So if this goes on like that then we're gonna want to put this underneath through like that and then we're gonna take this small o-ring put it on top of it and then we're gonna take this foot Put that on and then the screw goes in to the brass fitting and then you tighten it down and now that slides ugh, so nicely to hold that battery in and number two perfect so now that goes over that goes over battery comes out this can go back on there we go Crazy. One more. Okay, get this nose off. Or just this one. There it is. Brilliant. Close it on. Battery cannot come out. Oh, that is such a sweet system. I absolutely love it. Excellent. Moving on to the body. So I've got this far on the body. I've got one win back window in. There are a lot of little things to do on this. There's wiper blades. There's just everything. Little, little, little. Next step on this is, I believe, the other window and then the tailgate. Let's get at it.
That little tab on the top's got to be cut off. Go on. And then just press on the little pins. They may use glue on some, but I don't have any glue, and they fit in there so nice. That's in. On to the bumper. Mm, yep. Looks like they uh, put it there for a reason. Ever play that? Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Moving on to the brackets on the front. Snug. Snug. On to the other side. There it is. Snug. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, I think we'll uh, do the grill next. So on the grill, we're need gonna need to get the headlights, and then we have the backing plates to that. Headlights. Together. In. Oh, that looks really cool. All right, we got the lights in. This is makes it look like those angry, I, I'm not angry, so I'm not using it. That was kind of angry. Funny. It's funny when you get angry at angry eyes. I don't like them. looking good moving on the back cross brace goes in here you know it'd be easier if I put you on the right hand side of me that would be smart wouldn't it and it's funny you're not living unless you're learning got the crossbar in just gonna snug those up Moving on to the header bar here. Oh, it goes this way. Perfect. Now we have to put magnets in. Okay, here we go. We're going to put the hood on. One down. Three to go. Now we're cooking with natural gas. All right. There it is. Oh, look. That's great. Got the windshield in. I got the hood stops on the windshield wipers and the rear view mirror. Okay, let's I think move on. I think it's the seats and stuff next. Great, it's the interior next. I'm gonna take this piece. This piece. Just snap together. That was more difficult than it needed. Okay, steering wheel. And that's oh, I think it needs a yoke. That goes on to here. You can see right. Yep. Slick. Next to the seats. I'll 
slide them all the way back. And lots of leg room. Next is I think I have to put some stickers on, but I don't know. Probably should put the sticker on in there before I put the steering wheel on. <clears throat> okay. I got the interior put in. Everything's coming along just nicely. So on to some more body trim. Almost forgot about the interior, inside doors, almost. I'm gonna put the interior sides on, like the door interiors, and you connect it to this. Put it in the slot, put it in the other slot, and press gently. Sometimes you have to force it. There it is. Oh yeah, all in place. Sweet! Right now, while I put a bunch of trim on, I'm just starting to put the fender flares on. Got the shifters in place, mirror. I haven't got the sticker on the mirror yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today or not. And I just push in. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, yes. Coming together, coming together. There we go. There we go. Last one. Guys, I'm getting excited. So that's it for that. That's it for that. That's it for that. That's it for that. Okay, moving on to this. Here we go. On the back of this, it looks like we have to put those hinges. That goes in here. More. Here we go, in the hole, in the hole it is. Now for the rear wiper, the caboose cleaner. There it is. Looks like I need to put some magnets in here. And we glue that in, that's great. Okay. Push those down. That's that. Now, I've got two more in the corner here. And that just goes on like that. <laughs> Baby. Great. Moving on to the top piece. Last piece. This has been quite a build. Two more of the magnets, and we're good to go. One. I don't know why you're talking with me. Please, just go in home. There it is. Whew. That was a struggle. So that should just... Oh, don't tell me there's... Oh. My. God. That can't be. That does it. That's pushing it away. How the fuck am I going to get those magnets out? I glued them in. Okay, guys. A lot of cursing. A little bit of digging. I got those... 
magnets out of here and out of the top to turn them around to the right polarities. And now I am definitely going to put some GB weld back inside because, well, sometimes it just, you overlook those things. I, I mean, I knew and I thought about it a couple of times, but yep, didn't put it into practice. Okay guys, we're at the uh, end of it, I believe. Um, just putting on the last piece of Velcro to hold the um, receiver in. Okay, that's gonna go up here. I've put the ESC tucked in nicely in underneath there. So we'll just, actually I'm gonna put this on here and then place it. Okay. See if that fits. Okay, perfect. All right. Now, let's hook this up. We hook this up, we should be able to run it. Get the wiring done. I'm not gonna tie anything together yet. Let's put the battery in. Oh, turn this on. I paired it already because I had to test the servos, obviously. That's on, plug this in, close our tips. Oh my God, here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, here we go. Nope. Okay, I got everything hooked up. Let's turn it on, see what we get. That's on, this is on, here we go. Nothing again. And now we are at the point that everybody, including me, has been waiting for. Let's see if this puppy runs. Turn this on. Now turn this on. And what do we have? Oh, we have steering. What's that? We do have steering, but it's off. I thought I set that. Anyway, I'm gonna have to reset that. But, uh, first drive. Working good. Wow, is it touchy. I have to uh, do the steering on that. All right, guys and girls, last screw going in to hold the body on. And boom, you're done. All right, let's put the top on. <sighs> down with the hood. Grab this. Slap that on. Oh, oh, this one goes up. This one goes on. <laughs> oh, we got steering. Oh, we got steering. And we got movement. Let's have a look at the final JK build. It's a beauty. It is just a beauty. The detail, I love it. So cool. I'm ready to roll. Let's turn this on. And we'll turn this on. It's alive. And then we'll put this one down. And this one down. Oh. Let's go for a tour.